Hi, welcome. I'm Yulia Graham, and if you're watching this, that makes you my scent brother, scent sister, or my non-binary scent sibling. I'm so happy to have you here today because I heard a rumor. I don't believe it because I don't actually be in it. I heard that spring is coming soon. So these are some of the fragrances that I am going to wear if it happens. These are some of the fragrances that I have that I wanna play with this spring. We have like a two week window. And really spring is just the season when everything smells like dog shit. That's what spring is. It's like a two week period. And so these are the dog shit scent eliminators for me. I've got quite a few. Yep, so I, I just wanna know, do you have some of these? Do you love some of these? Are some of these intriguing to you? This so I'm not is my spring line up for the spring spring, spring. <laughs> spring uh, is nefarious notorious words are hard for uh, coming in like a lion <laughs> and going out like a lamb I don't know what lambs do sheep go by do lambs ba? does anybody know no I want to uh, talk about fragrances that I'm going to uh, wear for spring because spring still is cold. It's going to snow next week. We're going to dip below zero several, several times uh, before we get to the higher ones. So I want fragrances that have some kind of depth so that they're not just uh, in the air and uh, totally for hot weather. These are the first one that I want to talk about is an honorable mention because I don't have a full bottle, but I will. It is in my fragrance bottle. I don't sing a cart and I am going to purchase it in April. This is Pink Prestigium uh, from Mansara. So it's Pierre Montel. And this is, this was sent to me uh, by the beautiful, talented Joss it's from Joss, Joss's, look at, I get so tongue tied. I love you. Joss's fragrance mixology. I love uh, this. This one was one of those very, very, very rare and elusive. Love it first. Sniff. This is a fruity, citrus, woody, rose fragrance. That's what it is, folks. And that's what we've got. I get grapefruit, rose, musk, and wood. The notes is we'll be scrolling here so you can see, but that is what I get. What I get is somebody took a rose, a real rose, spritzed it with grapefruit and then smooshed it into some wood. And then maybe something musky happened. <laughs> I love this. This is powdery to me, but fresh, fresh, fresh and sweet. And that rose is there. I'm not a floral girl. You know I'm not a floral girl. This so I do somehow is fresh and cozy and warm. Most of these are. I can't wait to rock this. I can't wait to get a full bottle. Thank you, Joss. The next fragrance I am going to rock is this one. This one uh, I like to wear on a rainy spring day to clean the house. This is Cacherelle's Yes I Am Fabulous. And if I'm not mistaken, this is Honorine Blanc. It is. Um, I call this one my all the juices at the bottom of the Kool-Aid jug fragrance, maybe because the bottle's purple, uh, but to me it reminds me of all of the different juices at the bottom of the jug. Well, this one is just blackberry, heliotrope, milk, and hazelnuts. Those are the notes listed for this. The heliotrope kind of makes it tickly to my nose. That's what heliotrope does. This is warm. It's still warm, and although I don't get any milk yet. I'm starting to pick up that it's creamy. I just love it. I just love it because it's warm for those spring days that are still lying. Does that make any sense? Yeah, so this, um, it, it, the, the bottle's really cute and it's a good deal. You can get this at Shoppers Drug Mart right now on the uh, $20 rack. So yeah, I just like to spritz this one on. Ryan loves this one. It's warm and cozy, lactonic. I'm starting to pick that up. Blackberry, Heliotrope, I get zero hazelnut, but it's a really cute one. In like a lion and out like a lamb speaks to the fact that it's gonna be snowing one day and really nice out the next day. And so you need something kind of like a signature scent. This next one, Baccarat Rouge 540, we all know about this. I've talked about it a million, bajillion, fulfillion times, but this is the Francis Kirk John creation that uh, swept the world. This is woody, it's spicy, it's amber. 
I've got my notes here, you know I do. I get saffron in here, lots of it. Uh, then there's jasmine, which you know I'm not a floral lover, but in this one, it kind of works for me. That ambergris is there for resin and cedar. So this one leans a bit masculine to me, but having said that, I really, really like it. I'm gonna scroll the notes down here and tell you that this is light and in the air and on me it doesn't do. People talk about this one, have you heard this before, that it plays that disappearing game? It doesn't disappear on me. Uh, it's lovely and I will be doing another video, probably with this same hair and makeup, about the OG versus the OP. And I'm gonna talk about this as compared to the oil perfumery version of which I prefer. But in this video, this is the one I'm gonna talk about. It is airy and sweet and it lasts and it projects. The performance on this is amazing. And where would I wear this to? I've worn it to work, uh, wear it out. This is an all season, but I think in spring is when it's gonna shine. And this is Baccarat Rouge 540 by Francis Kirk John. You've heard me talk about this one before too. This is probably the most interesting fragrance in my wardrobe. This is FCUK, that's French Connection, um, Late Night Her. Um, I've used this uh, in a video as a phone in a spoof. Uh, this fragrance to me is just citrus and woods. That's all I get, except I distinctly get a note of dirt. I get dirt, I get composted dirt in here and it's so <laughs> interesting and I love this one so much. This one's a great deal. Uh, this one was given to me by my friend Nat. Thank you so much, Nat. I love this. This is one of my favorite spring perfumes of all time. I don't ever reach for this any other time. And I wear this around the house. I wear most of my perfumes around the house. Um, this is citrus, but it's not gourmand. I don't, wouldn't want to eat the dirt, but this is so interesting. You can also go on to FragranceNet and buy this for super -de duper -de affordable prices. There's a body mist and a lotion. This fragrance is so weird. It's so weird. It's like, it's like a, a log that's been freshly hewn and somebody has uh, spilled some pure lemon juice on it. Uh, there's supposed to be some fruits in here other than the citrus. It's pink grapefruit that's there and cedar. Boy, do you ever get the pink grapefruit and the cedar. There's supposed to be jasmine, freesia, and rose in here. Thank goodness I don't get any of that. There is a muskiness to it and bergamot and they're saying it's vanilla. All right, I'll give it some vanilla, but this is so, so interesting and it's such a great deal. Listen, this is not a safe way by mm, mm, mm. new because it's so interesting, yeah? It's very uh, unique to me and to my wardrobe. So this is French Connection FCUK uh, Late Night Her or something. Yeah, Late Night Her. Lemon, citrus, and dirt. This next one gets all the hype, or it used to anyway. I don't know if it does anymore. I have the Eau de Toilette of the Versace Cristal Noir. <sighs> the famous coconuts debate. I smell coconut in here. Maybe you don't, do you? I don't know. Uh, I smell coconut in here and I smell jasmine, but it works. It works somehow. The only thing that doesn't work for me about this perfume is I don't know when to wear the thing. I mentioned that in a different video. I don't know when to wear this. And so I'm gonna bust this one out this spring. Uh, this one is by Antoine, this one is by Antoine Lai for Versace and it is clean and soapy and coconutty and I think it's gonna work for me in the spring but I think it works for most people in the fall. Do you have this one? I mean this one is really you either love it or you hate it and I love it but I don't know when to wear it so this is it. Like if I can't wear this in the spring this one's going wah wah out the door. This next one is iconic and I don't need to go into it. I can't wait to wear this in the spring. This is a powerhouse fragrance. You know this when there's a song about it. This is Flower Bomb by Victor and Ralph. And I'm gonna read you the names of the perfumers here. This is Carlos Benham, Dominique Ropion, lots of fans in the house. This is Domtil Michalon Berthier and Olivier Pogue. Uh, this fragrance is a 
crowd pleaser. Uh, it's a compliment getter. Ryan loves this one. And to me, it's suitable in the spring because it does have, it packs off the punch, but it is absolutely suitable for those spring days when it's going to be cool in the morning. Uh, it's going to be downright cold in the morning, let's just face it, and it's going to smell like dog all day, and then it's going to warm up. So you're going to see the notes scroll down here. I don't know what I get in here. I smell gunpowder. Don't even ask me why I know what gunpowder smells like, but I do. I do get some gunpowder. I get some florals, but nothing stands out, so although this is one of those rare florals that I enjoy. It says there's vanilla in here. Yeah. Yeah, there's vanilla in here. There's patchouli and some florals and some tea. I just like it. It's just a crowd pleasing, easy grab. I love to wear this one to work. I also love to layer with this one. So this is, I don't need to go on anymore. This is Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. I can't wait to rock this in the spring. Those are all fragrances that I have talked about before. Here are some that I have not spoken about, although I may have mentioned them at some point. Shout. This is a huge shout out to Chandra who sent me uh, Dewberry, the oil. Oh, you bet I'm going to be rocking this. This isn't the actual Dewberry perfume oil from the body shop. This is something that she found online and uh, sent to me. However, my nose remembers this. Memories. Wow. Did you used to wear Dewberry? I did a whole thing about In Search of Dewberry and Chandra watched it and this is it. Dewberry, uh, was a floral fragrance again this just smells like 1992. that's what it is it's a perfume oil you bet you i'm gonna be rocking this all the way this is an insanely uh evocative scent that reminds me of all the things we got up to when we were in university oi i'm working on forgiveness this is an amazing, amazing thing. And I am so grateful to you, Chandra. Thank you so much. I'm gonna be rocking this. I've already been rocking it. It's so, so clean and powdery and fresh and musky. And it's just perfect for running errands and being at home and doing all the spring stuff. Eee, I can't wait to wear this. One that I uh, am waiting for spring to see if I like it. And if I don't, hit me up because I'm getting rid of it. I like the bottle. Uh, this is Marc Jacob Divine Decadence. It's a white floral, so I don't know. I don't know about this one, but it's springy to me. Maybe it's because the bottle's green, but it reminds me of spring. There's some vanillas and some citrus in there. Uh, the florals are honeysuckle, hortensia, gardenia, and orange blossom. There's supposed to be a champagne note at the top. I don't know about that vanilla and saffron to ground it. So this one does have that airy, light, bubbly thing going on, but the heavy white florals are then on a heavy base. And so it's kind of a juxtaposition. I think I'm going to enjoy this one for work. This is, I feel like this one would be really suitable for the office. I can't speak to its performance, but I do know that this is one that I'm going to try. Have you tried this one? This one is at Shoppers Drug Mart, or it was uh, on the $20 rack, because it's I'm sorry about that. So here it is, Marc Jacobs, Divine Decadence. Another one that is new amongst my bottle babies <laughs> uh, and is here for me thanks to the beautiful Veronica from Veronica Says who kindly sent me a decant of this. This is Chloe Nomad Absolu. Uh, I've never liked any of the Chloe's but this one reminds me so much of something that I used to have in my youth. It reminds me of a spiced tea Calgon body spray, but it's deeper and richer and more sophisticated and grown up and also does not feature a tea or a spice note. It just really reminds me of it. This is a true sheep, but to me it smells like a spa. To me it smells like fresh and clean. Uh, this is Quentin Biche, so of course I had to have it, my Paris boyfriend. Um, so they're just saying that it's got Mirabelle Plum and then Oak Moss, hi Marcial, Oak Moss and Davana Sandalwood and Musk. To me, this is a sheep, it's fresh, it's clean, but I get hints of tea and of spice and they're not there, but I love it, I love it, I love it. I was uh, chatting with Melissa about this one and she was saying, would this be better in, uh, would this work in the warmer, warmer weather? To me it would, but that's because I have this crazy association with it, uh, that it smells like 
tea. It's fresh and uplifting. I do. I think this would be fine in the summer too, but I think spring is when this baby will shine. I, uh, yeah, I really like this one. It has the uh, sandalwood and musk at the base to keep it from being uh, like a, a full on in the heat summer scent. So it has some grounding, but it's also got that Mirabelle plum and the oak moss that keeps it really nice and uh, shipra y And the performance can't be beat on this one. <laughs> Chloe Nomad, absolute wonderful stuff. Here's one I have said nothing about because I just got it. This one uh, was, Joss was talking about this because Ruby from Ruby Zion, do you know her? Do you love her? Of course you do. If you're here, you know her. She sent Joss a sample and they were both talking about it. I've been looking at this one uh, for a while because it's supposed to be a dupe of Atomic Rose by Anissier. Should I tell you what this one's called? <laughs> this is Badi Al Oud Amethyst. I uh, also, I received a sample of the Badi Al Oud for Glory, which I adore, from Joss as well. And um, this is the Amethyst version. So this one to me, she said, the reason I picked this one up instantly was because she said it had a pink prestigium vibe. Oh boy, does it ever. Not on paper though. Nope, not on paper. On paper, all I'm getting is Oud for Glory, which I love. But on the skin there is a citrus note and a rose note with the oud and this turns into kind of one of the nicest rose ouds i've ever smelled i'm not a rose oud kind of girl you know me i'm a gourmand said with me gourmand. this one on skin is going to be one of my favorites for spring it does have a powderiness to it it's grounded with this um what does that mean it just means that it has some depth to it. It's not all pie in the sky. This has some oud in it in the bottom, vanilla and amber. But at the top, there's this bergamot, but I'm telling you, it's it's fresh. It's more like grapefruit to me than bergamot. And then pink pepper, which is so prominent in when you wear it, but not on this piece of paper. And then there's two kinds of rose and jasmine. I get the rose and not the jasmine. <laughs> I really, really like this. So thank you, Ruby, for sending this to Josh. Right, do you have this? Have you heard of this? Do you have Atomic Rose and this? Because I've never smelled Atomic Rose, but it sounds amazing. This is Badi Aloud Amethyst, and I'm gonna rock this this spring. I can't wait. It's so, I really, really like this one. We've reached the end. And for this end, I wanna talk to you about the ultimate spring scent to me. Spring comes in like a lion and goes out like a lamb. And to me, this fragrance can do it all. This fragrance does it all. I love this. This comforts me. It brings me joy. It's warm and cozy, yet bright and fresh. This is Lyra by Zerjoff. I also have the oil perfumery version, which is coming up in a OP or OG video. But I'm telling you, having the OG means everything to me. This projection is not great. The performance on this one all around is not spectacular, although it's not abysmal. It's lovely. This is a fragrance you could wear all year round. If you haven't smelled this one before, although I'm sure you have, either this one or the uh, oil perfumery, we're talking about citrus, citrus at the top, and then caramel and vanilla, and that's what I get. It is so lovely. The perfumer here is Chris Maurice. Thank you, Chris Maurice. The, uh, the notes are the blood orange and bergamot. It says there's lavender in here. I don't get that, but if that's part of the mix, it's amazing. Cinnamon, licorice, jasmine. I don't get any of that. Caramel, vanilla, and musk. This is, I've talked about this a million times. I'll probably talk about it a million more, but as far as spring coming in, uh, the caramel and vanilla, it's so cozy, the musk. It's cozy, but then at the top, it's light and fresh. I feel like this is suitable for every spring day, but I love to wear it on rainy spring days to work when I'm not all dressed up. I have such great memories of this, the oil perfumery version of this when I first got it. When it's raining and cold and miserable outside, but it's spring and you know better days are coming, this is it. This is the ultimate spring scent for me.
Amelia Graham. These are my spring picks and I am, I don't know, can you tell? I'm so excited to wear these. What are you gonna wear this spring? What are you gonna reach for? I'm so into this whole you and me hanging out thing. Thank you so, so much to all of you who are here, who are supporting, who are commenting, who are watching. It's so fun for me. It is so fun and I hope that you had a little bit of fun with me and uh, happy spring season. That's it, that's all I got. Thank you for your patience. I know this was a long one. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.